so it took around one hour it's uh, around 14 gb it's actually packed so we will use unpack and let's split this and we the best way to visualize this is so we can use this particle yeah it will it will look like this right and here let's just use this Let's merge all of them. Yes. Also, I want this in background. So we will use, let's take a geometry and Let's check this. Yes, it looks nice. Now it's time to work on meshing. Okay, so we can Copy the separation, paste over here. So we can mess all of them together, but it will be a problem for us to shade them individually, right? So it's the best way to we can mess mesh it individually. So let's do that. Let's start with this. Okay. So I'll use subnet because I'm going to use bunch of nodes over here. So it's always good to use this subnet and you can name it as meshing process. <laughs> okay, so let's use uh, Houdini's default particle fluid surface and we will link this. So I won't change anything over here. Let's just uh, run this flip book you can see here there is like uh, lots of jitter in here and okay so we can ignore the jitter for a while but there is no detailing you can see here I want this like sharp this shape I want this in the mesh but uh, how do we get it? Do I have to go half of this? Right? So let's hope that. Yes. So now we are getting it. But still it's uh, very tricky to get a proper control with this particle fluid surface. Right? So what we can do over here is we will use VDB process and there we will get better control and also it's using average position and we will use this spherical right. So let's keep aside.
and also you can select your favorite frame and this one is closer one right right so let's use vdb so we will use this vdb from particles okay so let's reduce this so nothing is happening why because we have to reduce this minimum radius in voxel right so if i make it zero it will work and you can see here it's bit time taking to run this entire mesh so here we can use some tricks to cook this faster way for that i will use delete and here i have this bound over here so i'll just crop this area only so i'll use i'll select i'll select uh, this point and press t to get this position okay so i got it and yes and copy paste yes this must be fine and let's use point and invert this yes i want this much only and you can increase one more and let's move this let's move this back yes this much is fine so it will cook faster right yes this looks nice test okay first thing i will use here is vdb reshape sdf and first operation i will use is open so it's useful but you won't see much of difference let's rename this open okay so here let's use convert and convert this to polygons okay so if i click over here we get two option one is polygon and so second one is polygon soup so what is polygon soup so polygon soup is mainly to work inside houdini so you can render it with mantra karma right so when you are exporting this to any other software then you have to go with polygons and polygon soup is very compressed version and it will save lots of data just uh, watch over here and here let's check see it's reduced right so we will use polygon soup as it saves lots of data okay so now it seems working we have to get rid of these bubbles right so to get rid of that we will use a uh, vdb smooth sdf so you can see there is a huge difference so here we will use this main curvature flow so what it will do it will just maintain this edges and it will run that curvature you can see the difference right so let's use this as a first smooth uh, vdb smooth one okay let's copy this over here again and this time i will use this and i don't want too much here and you can see here we are getting nice this surface but we are getting so we are facing this problem here so we are not getting like decent detailing over here so how do we get that so to get that first what we have to do over here there is one technique we can use so first we can shrink this right 
so then we can run all of smooth process on this so we if we reduce this gap so it won't stick to each other right so you can see here because it's too nearby that's why it's like filling that gap so if we increase that gap by this much then it won't be a problem so let me show you how to do that so for that we will use vdb reshape and sdf here we get some operation and here i want to erode this so you can see here right and later once we convert this we will use peak right so yes this much is fine yes i am getting all those detail here over here right and we can run one more smooth over here with the default values yes i think it's pretty nice and we will use this as a reference to pick this and later we will use pick so you can see here how much we have to pick uh, yes yeah this much is fine and now you can see we are getting all those details and right and that's the best way to do that and here we can just reduce some of these uh, by 0 to 7 yeah And here let's increase this yeah after this also we will use some nodes and here it's already recomputing almost normals so I want to use normals and it should be on points and facing right and i will use attribute blur by five times So you can see here it's we are getting a problem so till 5 is fine yep so it's like minor change and and we will use attribute blur on normal also yes so you can see there is a like minor so if i see from camera then still that uh, bubble looks are there so we will use uh, so let's increase this now by six second we will use this yeah it's a viewport bug yes it's viewport bug sometimes it doesn't update so for that you can just okay so we will use let's delete this close this and we will use new viewport yeah it's not there let's use dark background yeah sometimes it happens it's a bit bug so always make sure otherwise you will just keep changing value over here yeah so it's pretty nice so let's check by reducing this um, i think till 6 it will be fine yeah 
सो नाउ वी कैन जस्ट डिसेबल दिस टेस्ट जोमेट्री यस सो नाउ इट्स वर्किंग सो स्टिल वी आर गेटिंग लाइक नॉट फुली स्मूथ सर्फेस बट इट वॉन्ट बी अ प्रॉब्लम राइट सो सो यू नो द कंट्रोल सो यू कैन जस्ट ट्वीक ऑल दिस स्मूदिंग एरियाज राइट सो यू कैन वे सो यू कैन यूज लाइक टिल फोर ऑल्सो राइट सो बट या फोर मी इट्स फाइन एंड वी आर गेटिंग नाइस लुक ओवर हियर so let's run this in between this frame so it's 116 and yeah go on so let's start the flip book from 220 